What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the walkthrough, and it's time to tackle the Ridge of Frozen Souls. Uh, so one thing I'd recommend is putting on Flame Weapon. You inherit this from watch. Prometheus. Uh, pretty much everything in this area is going to be weak to flame. This cave so, does not seem very long. Uh, let's see. From here, we're going to head forward from the Mistle. Mistle. I keep calling it Mistle. Judgment. Take it one step at a time. Uh, right up ahead, there'll be a big guy that's guarding some steel. actually bring uh, Louie along in this area, you know, given that he does fire stuff. We're going to be going in here in a little bit, so just ignore that for now. We can certainly use this. Have the steel, and then we're going to switch back and go up this way. Uh, there's going to be some dogs to try to ambush us around the corner. Kill them off. I'm going to pick up the Lost Shard. And then right here where you see these guys, you want to just drop on down. Antifreeze. Drop doing? again. Oh, dude, that was rude. You know, that's just part A. Did you stop it? Grab this freezing cartridge, and then there's another guy here. This one's actually waiting for you at the bottom. Are these ruins of something? We cannot uh, so go back from this here. This way. And then we have two lost guys up ahead. Oh shit. I did not mean to put that buff on. Oh boy. Well. Since it's on, we gotta go fast. We're about to really, we were gonna be really testing the uh, limits of how fast I can get through stuff. Grab the Fion Chromes. Ladder, and there'll be a missile as well as a regen activation. The great collapse. I think I can make it to the next zone before Final Journey runs out. Uh, one thing that's interesting, you can actually run Gift Extension with Final What's Journey, and it'll give you four and a half minutes until you die. So now we're going to go the same path. Uh, now these enemies that we're, we're seeing right here, these guys up ahead, they are suicide bombers. They hurt a lot. It's not a suicide bomber. Um, you'll see this right here, this patch of ice. Watch out for that stuff. That stuff, uh, you see, it'll collapse and then you can die. Um, let's see. We want to... You know, where am I at? Ooh, let's regen. Make your way up to the drop. We'll start seeing suicide bombers that hurt. To grab this. Hedgehog Fort. Uh, Queen Steel past the flip truck. for an Iker Concentrate, head up and stay to the right. Uh, some ice collapses on the left-hand side. It's our Iker Concentrate. Um, stay up and stay to the right. Got the um, more collapsing ice. Grab this. Got these guys. There's little we can do but search for another way. Watch and we're gonna the run straight on first. past this dude. And we're getting to our missile before my buff runs out and I get killed. Um, sir. I'm gonna require you to die immediately. Okay, accidental buff will not result in death anymore. So go ahead and pick up the organic soap. Um, let's see, we're gonna go up uh, this way first. Build these guys and stamp this over there. Pace we're going, we're definitely knocking this area out in one episode. And this is the path for progression, but before that, we're going to head down into the cave. So we have a roly poly that's going to try to ambush us right here. That, grab 
Drain activator, run on down. Be careful not to slip here. Now, this is a path that will lead to an alternate area. We can't access the area right now. It's a very end game area, so just completely ignore that path. Time being, instead, Something we're gonna head up here and kill that. How will I hit right below here before? I'm gonna get the rotten missile. I'm gonna grab the VM part C. Um, let's see, VM part C missile. Yep, okay, that's it. So we're gonna return back to the resting missile. Sorry, I was looking at something. So from this way, we're going to go right. Uh, there's going to be some roly polies that are going to try and it's jump on us. Be cautious. There, yeah. there we go. Got the antifreeze tonic. Um, and then up top, I'm going to grab this thing first. Not let these guys get near you. Ooh, God. That's what I was talking about when I said the suicide bombers. They hurt a lot. And this is your first real encounter with a shredder guy. I mean, I call these guys shredder yetis. I don't know what they're actually called, but they kind of remind me of Transform Shredder from the old school Ninja Turtle movies. Um, they're pretty deadly. But uh, probably the most deadly thing about them is they can get up ice armor, which gives them like hyper poison, a ton of defense. If you have a fire buff, you can take it off with a single hit, which is why I recommend fire buff. So let's see. come up top, grab the chest, kill the fire yeti. Okay, not the fire yeti, the shredder yeti. Top we go. You can also bait them to roll off ledges. That's another note I had. Um, we got the garden sweater in the chest, then we go up the ladder. Oh god. Is he looking at no stop that? And then we're gonna have a cutscene. Skip that. This is uh, all about Mia's little brother. We get the Fion Vestige 3, and we'll run on over and hit this up. Right. Let's go on and rest. So, circle right around to grab the condensed loss shard. Um, and now this part gets a little tricky. Kill this guy. And you'll see these snow mounds, like this one right here. If you get close enough, guys will pop on out. So just keep your eye out for them. There's a bunch of them around here. And I'll be pointing out the majority of them, but... Some of this stuff we're just going to walk past and wait for the idiots to pop on out. Uh, so we're going to stay to the left here first. Ooh, god, that was close. Um, we got a bunch of dudes here. Shy. I'm gonna grab the MJ Awake. One more was supposed to pop out. Why I didn't? Um, and then we want to run, but we want to sprint. Make sure you're sprinting across that ice. No, oh, hang on. It's a drop. Damn it. Circle my way back. I don't think I can. Yeah. We'll just make more guys pop out of the snow. I'm not leaving behind drops. Too greedy for my loot. Alright. Um, spinning across ice for Lost Char Medium. And we have another Ice Shredder guy coming up. Similar to before. 
fire buff is really nice here. If you're really struggling, you could even pop your, uh, your special ability, but... No! I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. It's an accident. Whatever. I'll make this easier. Uh, there is some ice that can break, so be careful of that. armor. Make sure you shatter that shit down. You're gonna have a bad time. Oh man, these guys are terrifying. Uh, breaky ice, obviously avoid that. Grab the Eon Vestige. Grab the Queen Steel. make our way back and since I accidentally put final journey on we will go ahead and hit the missile because I am not dying to a time really need to like put that in a, a different slot hey uh let me do that there we go all right now I'm not slightly to press you um so lost shard to take the path on the right this time okay so now we're gonna go this way um, four more snow poppy guys show up to fight. Lost shard, we got some dogs right here. The sky feels close from up here, doesn't it? Ice patch. I don't even see an ice patch. Well, whatever. Um, so we're gonna stay to the right here. I'll be there soon. We may have a couple of these snowy dudes, so I'm just gonna rebuff with some fire. Oh, did flashing thing. Surround. Get the awake. Watch for the ice patch that's right behind us, right there. Loots? No loots? Okay. Well, that guy. Right around the corner is a dog. Uh, we grabbed the 212 and the three dudes. Careful of ice. Kill last dying dog. Around corner of building. Uh, let me heal on up. We're gonna go up and to the left here. And we have another uh, Yeti type guy that we're about to fight. So I am gonna actually up a little bit here. Oh, god damn it. I'm just pressing the wrong buttons today. Uh, so put that up. Put on the fire buff. Getting a big plunge attack on him will help, obviously. I was terrifying in my first playthrough. But I didn't know you could break ice armor off then, so. So grab the Queen Steel, uh, run around here where the Winter Mantle, a decent casting coat. I pray there's something valuable inside. And I can't believe we cleared the, almost this entire area in 15 minutes. Right, get the project evaluation. Uh, that is the last thing that Gustav wanted. And then we're gonna hit our missile. Want to rest a bit and move on? Alright, so kick down this ladder. We can get down safely. Uh, we're gonna go this way I'll first. This. For some pungent cheese. <laughs> Uh, 
um, where we made a right, or where we stayed to the left, like go up and fight the dude, this is where the path would have led if you, uh, just went down colder. instead. Is there, no, that's a thing up top. A second, I feel like I missed something. Yes. No? Yeah, there should be something right back here. Lost shot. Sneaky Lost Shard trying to, trying to get away from me, man. Alright, now we're going to go past the ladder for some other stuff. Um, we got an MJ, a Lost Shard, a Machete Plus 5, and a Missile Monster. So our MJ. Shit. Suicide bombers, man. I do not want to mess with those guys. Did you find something good? That what is that? To the missile monster. Um similar to um I wanna say you can actually farm this guy for his halberd, not a hundred percent. Maybe able to. Get the machete plus five, kill him. Right, and we are almost ready for the boss. So we're gonna go ahead and rest very quickly here. They okay, launch our missile monster machete five. Bunch of cheese. Okay. Alright, okay, now we're gonna take this way. Swing back for a regen inducer. What's that doing there? Head over. Got the one. Ah, oh, there's the ice here. Where's the guy at? There you are. Grab the queen steel. There should be some enemies that want to pop out of the snow. Grab the rotten missile. And as long as we stay to the left, they shouldn't pop up right there. I think this is one. No. Are we gonna ledge him? Yes, we are. Very nice. All right. So similar to before, you're gonna want to restore the vestiges. And this will allow you to get access to Fion. Uh, if you fail to restore the memory, instead you will get the Queen's Breath. Uh, and the boss here, Successor of Breath, he's, he's not too bad. A um, couple things to look out for. He has a Shield Slam, which you cannot block. It'll just straight knock you on your ass. Um, every now and then he'll slam his head into the ground and then, like, chuck a bunch of ice at you with his antlers. Um... Right around 50%, he's going to throw his shield away and get a lot more aggressive. He'll start jumping up into the air and doing a ground explosion combo type thing. Uh, if you kind of do what we talked about with the, the uh, Merciless Reaper combo, you can actually burst him pretty quickly. Uh, we're going to buff on up in advance here. So make her concentrate here. And we are going to put up this guy, this guy... I'm gonna pop a couple of these just to nice and beefy and prepped. Put that on, that on, and then that on. And now we're ready to go. So I have a cutscene. First thing I'm gonna do is just wait for an opening and go for a big smash. This fight is gonna be all about big smashes because he's a big old armor core. As you saw right there, big, big chunk damage. And essentially what I'm trying to do here is burst him before he really has a chance to even do much with his face too. There we go, stun on him, and he's dead. 
So yeah, kind of how I said in the last episode, going for the uh, Flashing Fang Merciless Reaper, it's going to allow you to just clap them booty cheeks. So um, now we have a, another lengthy, when is Mia going going to wake up? lengthy cutscene here. No one can really say for certain. Unfortunately, some never do wake up. I'm sorry. Hmm. All right. I wish you could like move faster in these, but nope. Just just walking along. Are you sure? You're still just a kid. As a reminder, you can't skip the it successor ones. Matter. When I become a successor, I'll be able to keep me a safe. Anyway, I can't just let the world be destroyed before Mia wakes up, can I? I wonder if Mia's woken up yet. Just a little brother wanting to defend his sister. So tearfully sad. She's all right. Sacrificed himself so that Mia could live a life out in the world. I'm fighting for you. He used his powers to make a clone of himself so that she wouldn't feel alone in the fields. So, get well soon, Mia. Like, let's be honest, if, if you're going for the, the playthrough where you only need to restore one person, you should probably restore our boy right here, because otherwise, it. man, it is a heartbreaking scene. Watching me, I just be like, no, my brother. Like, oh, man, too many feels for me. Restore that. Mia will have a heartfelt reunion, and we now have access to the Fion code, which has quite a few things that are yummy that we're going to want. So we're going to rest at this missile. Um, and uh, let me see. Right outside of the boss room. Let's walk on out and right there waiting for you. It's an Eos vestige. After every successor, just make sure to dip back out the room and you'll get that. Assuming you're going for the good ending, of course, which is what this is a guide for. Um, we're at 22 minutes. Um... Yeah, there's there's a couple different side things that we need to do. Check my notes here. We have side things, and then we have a double depths. So let's try knock out these side stuff real fast. Uh, so we are going to teleport to the entrance. We're gonna knock out the the base side stuff real quick, and uh, that way the next episode we can knock out both Cliffs of Rust and Silent Light. The visibility is bad. Is that massive thorn alive? It's man-made. Is it some sort of building? We're just gonna run past the stuff. We have to get to the drop down. Kind of an annoying side quest. We go over here. Uh, talk to this guy, Richard. His path is blocked. He's gonna want you to beat up a bad guy for him. This thing. Might as well kill everything because, I mean, why not? Stop it. These guys I don't care about. I'm gonna waste the time with them. Now we gotta run back up and then go back to Richard again. Like you think this guy, he couldn't be in a more inopportune spot. He had to be all the way down at the bottom, right? Oh no! Oh my god, I'm amazed. I did not know you could survive that drop. So uh yeah, new shortcut acquired. Huh? Give me up when I talk. So anyway, talk to him. That quest is done. Have a couple things that these guys drop. Did you find something good? Uh, let's see. Why are you alive? Out of my way. And we're gonna run on down 
onto the missile. Right, our next warp is going to be Dried Up Trench's entrance. Turn in Gustav's quest. Oh, so use vase is that right? Project many fight. I think this it only show. Let's see, finishing up his quest will give us access to an RV mastery, giving opportunism, which will uh, it's a passive that makes it easier to apply things. I want to say it makes it easier to apply. Let me take a look here just to make sure I'm not misquoting things. Yes, increase weapon damage dealt against enemies with status ailments. So, um getting something afflicted with poison, you get a damage boost. I want to say it's probably like 25%, somewhere in that range. Uh, warp over to the Cage Ship Interior for the self-important Revenant quest. There may be something up above. If you're, I wanna... He's going to give you the Cliffs of Rust. And then to the Outer Crossroads for another Shang quest. So, now we have Silent White. Okay, um, so up in the next episode, we're going to be taking on both the Cliffs of Rust as well as Silent White. Uh, Silent White in particular is pretty lengthy. Cliffs of Rust is kind of based around the, the area we we're just in, where Silent White is based on the, um, the what's it called, the snowy area. Uh, so there's quite a few cutscenes when you come on back. The whole thing about Louis and how Louis finally has friends. And before we wrap up, I want to talk briefly about the Fion Blood Code, because there are some things in it that are worthwhile. Uh, now, the Fion Blood Code is, it's kind of like a strength code based around hammers. Um, hammers are basically ass, uh, but there are some things that are really good here. Uh, Red Shoes is actually a pretty cool buff. Basically, even if you're out of stamina, you could still attack or roll. This is unique to the Fion Code. Um, I don't think it's it's the best thing in the game, but it is a really interesting ability to play around with. If you want to use hammers, hammers mastery is here. Uh, frost weapon. Obviously, I'm a big fan of suggesting weapon buffs. Uh, and then probably more important than that, we have ice barrage, giving us access to a second barrage ability. And you also have perseverance if you want fortitude. How are we at? Uh, I need more 212s. You also 212s. I'll probably get those down in the depths, so... We will work on inheriting those soon. Of course, you could always do things the old-fashioned way and actually play with the class for a bit. Um, but just to kind of show where it's at. And if I turn off the uh, passives, as you can see, slightly... Let's see, with my passives off, I'm at minus 151. I wish... I hate that you can... You can when you turn off passives, it doesn't... You know, because I'm at minus one... It's hard to, to still get a... A good comparison like I feel like if you want a comparison what you really need to do is just put identical passives on classes um, but we have a B in mind we have a D in willpower um, all in all not a, a terrible class uh, the Iker drops down a bit so we're down to 14 Iker on it we gain a little bit of stamina uh, obviously you lose access to one of the best things which is final journey uh, but a lot of the other stuff you you could use with it it's it's kind of like in a, a warrior class that still has access to some gifts with the slightly higher Iker count. But anyway, uh, we're going to wrap things up here. Uh, I'll get plenty of MJs to unlock that soon enough. And the next part, we're tackling both the Cliffs of Rust and Silent White. So stay tuned, and I will see you all then.